hello my Aries babies so this is your reading for the week um, April 4th going through next Tuesday um, take only what resonates leave the rest if you are over here from TikTok the 10 minute timestamp is down below in the description box and um, Anything that you want to know about me, my social media platforms, my Shopify account, or if you're interested in a personal reading, all of that information is in my link tree that is located in the description box below and also in my bio over on TikTok. Okay, so for, let's get to it, for the crystals that I picked for everyone is selenite and rose, <clears throat> rose quartz. Um, all of a sudden my throat chakra wanted to seize up. So that tells me that you could be going through a certain time right now where you're holding back your emotions or you're holding back something that you want to say. Um, that could be something that you need to work on for some of you. Um, believe it or not, <laughs> it's like you don't want to say something that's wrong. I feel like you can be tiptoeing around certain things right now. Um, for selenite, I feel like that you could be cleaning out certain behaviors. Everybody has a different, I noticed that everybody has a different use for the crystals that I picked. For you, I feel like that you're trying to clean out certain behaviors that no longer serve you. It's like, it hasn't gotten me anywhere to be like this, so I'm going to try this. Um, I do feel like that you're going at it from a very self-love point of view. Um, a lot of self-love, a lot of self-care, trying to really figure out how you can do this in a loving way without cutting yourself down or without cutting others down either. Um, but you are definitely trying to get through something that is really, really, really significant. Um, but I think that you realize that in order for your life to change, you have to change. And that is what you're trying to roll with now. You could have had something happen to where your life abruptly changed and now you have to adjust to it. And it's been really difficult for you. And that's why I feel like that this is all about you cleansing out certain behaviors or certain feelings or certain points of views that no longer serve you. Like if you've been bitter, if you've been angry, you know that that doesn't serve you. It's not doing any good. So you clean, you're cleansing it out and you're trying to replace it with self-love. You know, that's just an example. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do some tarot and then we're going to do some oracle messages. All right, spirit, what do you want my Aries babies to know? What does Aries need to know for this week? Yeah, you're in the Eight of Swords. It's like there's certain things that you want to see and certain things you don't want to see. Because the things that you don't want to see with the Seven of Swords right behind it can be deceiving or, you know, have the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You don't have to be. Or you could have Cancer placements. Okay. Okay. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. We also have the Hanged Man. You could also be dealing with the Pisces. You don't have to be. Bottom deck energy we have, though, is the Tower in reverse. So you are trying to avoid the Tower that is on the brink of happening. I feel like that you're trying to have, you know, you're trying to be a step ahead of the game. Yeah, justice. Okay. 
I feel like that you're trying to be a step ahead of everything. It's like, I already know that this could fall. And before I fuck it up even more, let me go ahead and try to do damage control before the, con before the damage happens. You know, I feel like that you are trying to avoid the experience and the journey. And you're trying to get, you're like, the whole journey, fuck that shit. I don't want to experience the emotions. I don't want to allow it. I don't want to let things flow. I don't want to accept this. I don't want to release it. I don't, I just want to get to the end. You can't do that. I feel like with the Eight of Swords, things are not as bad as what you feel they are. Um, but I feel like that you're lying to yourself about it. It's like, oh, this is way worse than I thought it was. This is something that is detrimental. Like, if I don't have this, my whole life is over. And that's not true. That's not true. I feel like you can be holding on to something that's not meant for you to hold on to. Because you feel like you need it. You feel like you have to have it. And you don't. Now for some of you, this could be about just being competitive and you don't like to lose. And you just, you know, you're looking at it as a loss. There's no such thing. Either you learn from it or you don't. And if you don't, then the lesson comes back around. But you're not ever losing anything. It's just... The energy is still around you. The things are still around you. It's just in a different form or in a different way. And it can be within different people. And so I feel like with the chariot, you have your mind set on getting out of the current situation. And with the four of pentacles, it's like, I'm going to hold back my emotions. I'm going to hold back my feelings on this journey. And I'm still going to get... My will of fortune. But see, because you're not feeling this, that's what has you hung up. That's what has you at a halt. That's what has you at a standstill. You're not wanting to feel it. You're wanting to avoid the whole feeling. It's like, I don't want to go through the pain. I don't want to go through the sadness. I don't want to go through this. I don't want to go through that. I just want to get to my happy zone. You have to experience the journey and get through it. Otherwise, it's going to linger. The feelings are going to linger. Everything is going to linger. And the lesson is going to come back around. So I feel like that you have all the knowledge that you need. But you're just not making a movement with it. Because you know. You're like, I'm, I'm an avoidance. I feel like that they're... Your, your mind is just like, I really want to get here. Like your mind is so focused on the destination that you're, you're trying not to feel the journey and possibly it could be possibly painful, but you could also feel like you're in a time crunch for some reason. You might feel as if you're in some kind of time crunch to where you don't have time to feel the journey. It's like, I don't have time to feel this. I need to get here. This is where I'm needed. Because I need to avoid this tower from falling. With the Justice card, you are trying to balance out certain things. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a wish fulfillment card. You're trying to work on yourself. You want more. You want to work towards more. The Justice card, you're trying to balance certain things out. And I feel like this is all within yourself. There's some things that have come back that has made you feel like, okay, I need to fix this. I need to fix that. I need to fix this. But you're not feeling or you're not getting to the why it's there. Like getting to the root of the problem. Why do you feel a certain way? Okay, I feel a certain way because so-and-so happened. Okay, so-and-so happened. But that does not explain why... You feel the way that you feel. What you're feeling, there's a sense of you trying to take on something without being self-accountable.
And that's what you're trying to get to the bottom of. You can actually be self-accountable for something without taking the entire blame for something. And let me explain this to you for a little bit, okay? So let's say... Um, your next, what we're going to pick are just a random person at the grocery store. So that way I'm not putting any intentions out there on anyone. So let's say the person at the grocery store had a neighbor that needed a ride somewhere. And that person at the grocery store said no to the neighbor. Said, I can't take you because I'm doing this. So the neighbor decided to call an Uber and the Uber ended up getting into a car wreck. Right? So let's say that the car wreck wasn't too pleasant. The neighbor didn't die, but there was a whole lot of stuff that happened to the neighbor. And there was a journey for the neighbor. You might sit with that. Or the neighbor, I'm sorry, the, the person at the store might sit with that and say, if only I had given my neighbor a ride, they would not have been in that car wreck. So you can be self-accountable for maybe I should have said yes, but you are not accountable for what happened after that. And I feel like that you put blame on yourself in tremendous ways when, sure, there could have been a different turn of events, but it's not your fault that it went that way. You are not in control of what happens after your action. No matter what it is, you are not in control of how other people take your actions. Your actions may be fucked up. Your actions might cause a lot of destruction. Your actions might actually be nice and free flowing. I don't know. Only you know what your actions are. But how a person takes them, they can take it with pain. They could take it with happiness. They could take it with motivation. They could take it with, um, you know, shutting themselves down. I don't know. But I feel like that you are taking a really strong look at yourself as to how you are perceived by other people. We have the King of Wands here. I feel like this is you. Or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius Leo Aries. But I feel like this is you looking at your past. What could I have done to be stronger? What could I have done to do something different or better? When really, there was nothing that you could do. If something was meant to happen, it was going to happen. Maybe you could have been more outspoken. Maybe you could have been more honest. Maybe you could have done this. Maybe you could have done that. But you can't turn back the hand of time and change anything. So the question is, what are you going to do from here on out is the question. We have the moon card. It's unknown to you. It's like a mystery to you on how you can get to this ten of pentacles. You, you want things to be nice and solid again. You want things to be prosperous, abundant. You want family. You want that comfort. But you're so scared that you're not going to get it. It's a mystery to you. It's hard for you to trust the process. It's hard for you to be vulnerable. It's hard for you to speak from the heart. We also have the Nine of Swords. You are so stressed out about this. How can I do better? What can I do better? And it's so heavy on you. We have the Five of Pentacles. You're not showing anybody the side of yourself. It's like, I'm trying to move out of this. I'm trying to re-strategize. I'm trying to become stronger. But I feel like that you're keeping everything under wraps. You're not telling anyone what you're doing. We have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, I feel like, is you moving on from your past behaviors. I feel like you're moving on to something that's better and greater for you individually. And with the Page of Wands... 
It's like, I have a spark. I have motivation. I have something that I'm focused on. This is where I need to go. This is where I need to be. We also have the five of wands. A lot of inner conflict could be outer conflict with other people. There could be um, conflict with other people not wanting you to move forward. But this could also be you fighting yourself on old you versus new you. And we have the Page of Cups. And we have the Ten of Cups. So your heart and your mind is on the goal. Now you're trying to make plans on how to get there. But don't shortchange the journey of what you're feeling in order to get here. We have the Ace of Wands. Something lights your ass on fire. And you're wanting it motivating you're motivating yourself. Very passionate. It's a desire of yours to get this started. We have the Emperor of You. And this is Aries card right here. This this brings you back to yourself. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever connection you're working on, whatever project you're working on, it leads you back to who you are. And I think that's why you want this so bad. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But you don't have to be. But this person is very stable and all about looking towards the future. Very nurturing. Very loving. We have the Two of Swords of you trying to make a decision whether you want to go forward with it or not. The Five of Cups is like, I keep looking at what I have to let go of the past in order to be here. How do I do this? We have the Eight of Wands, fast coming communication. I feel like you get an epiphany or a download, some kind of download, and you're patiently waiting to see what it is. But it, you go back into your head. Trying to make your world happen. You're manifesting certain things to yourself. You want your world to be solid. You want things to be nice and calm. There could be a sense of you also telling yourself no or telling your past no because you want to embark on your future. And it's hard. Like if there's something in your past that you truly, truly, truly wanted and it comes back and says, hi, I'm here. You're like, I'm a different person now. As much as I cared about this then I don't want it now. And there could be a sense of you closing something out in order for you to embark on something new. But that doesn't mean you don't feel bad or nostalgic about it. It's just that whole question of, you know, do I really want to place myself back there? But you do it mentally all the time. Even if you're not doing it in a physical sense. So we're going to pull some oracle messages. Eek. Yeah, I said eek. Okay. So any of them that, yeah, I'm going to do this right now. Any of them that are upside down. I turn them right back up. That way all my deck goes in the same way. So that way if it comes out reverse, it's a genuine reversal. All right. So we are going to pull some oracle messages for Aries. All right, Spirit, what advice do you have for my Aries babies? What advice do you have for my Aries babies? Yeah, joy. I feel like Spirit wants you to enjoy the journey, even though it doesn't feel like you're enjoying the journey. We have wildness. Get in touch with your fun, free, and your wild side on your journey. I feel like that you're just getting to the point of, I need to just get to the end and I need to skip all this. But you can't skip all of it because then it's going to come back around. It's not going to work out right. I feel like Spirit's letting you know. I have wisdom. You're a smarter person than you used to be. Give yourself some credit. 
For some of you, you need to look up wolves and owls for um, spirit animals. We also have balance. You're trying to get your balance. You're trying to ground yourself. You're trying to make sure that you stay grounded. But look, even though this person is grounded and is balancing out, Look at the doves or look at the birds. Still enjoying the birds and, and receiving. You see what I'm saying? So it's like try to lighten yourself up a little bit. And really try to enjoy the journey that you're embarking on. That is what I have for you for this week, Aries. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your video, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know if, you're reson if you resonate, share, and subscribe right now, please. Alright, so have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.